So what's this cold open? We let these spiders bite our cocks or something? What's up, guys? This is the TMT Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website, Live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've ever smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, oh, gay as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get my RC The so called flying stalkers. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's it that fucking ruled <laughs> that, why did we do all the planning <laughs> why do we even talk about this sketch <laughs> yes yeah, so i guess there's a spider that gives you a boner that's what it was right yeah can you bring this up i'm very curious about this got all the wrong shit yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, like, you that's, can, that's the one he was hoping for. Yeah, yeah, and then can. he was like, oh, what? I come out of my wrist yeah. instead? No, that's not what around. I want. You just get that little spider. He's like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, bite it. Come on, man. Bite just it, just bite eat it. that thing. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, look at this. Austrian supermarket. Dude, I hate these. I hate these accounts so much. Yeah, they're so. It's all fake. Do you Austrian think supermarket is? owned by Drake. Shut down spider that bit. <laughs> Yo Gotti's cock <laughs> over the weekend. I just hate the yeah the format, the format, and like the ones on Twitter just never have any context. There's never yeah. a, li- a link or anything half, that you can verify. I think half of it's them are bullshit. Sh- definitely, they yeah. definitely just make up half of them. Oh wow, wow. riveting commentary from me. Yeah, <laughs> I think a lot of news is bullshit. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Hot yeah. take. Yeah, but yeah, no, I, I agree with you. Sorry, I wasn't trying to stomp you out. But here's one. Aust- Austrian supermarket shut down due to spider that can cause long, painful erections. How many were in this supermarket that they had to shut it down? Or was it just one big-ass one? Oh, yeah, that's a great question. Were multiple people walking around with giant boners? <laughs> this, I mean, like, constantly? And the managers were like, something's going on here. Yeah. People are really horned up in this store. I think two employees got caught smashing. Yeah. It was a manager and a... Uh, and a and a cashier, they got caught smashing, <laughs> and then that is no, it was the giant ass <laughs> yeah. spider. It's a, it's make me hot. Is that Austrian? <laughs> I don't know what Austrian really sounds like. It's just Arnold, right? Yeah, no, uh, the spider. It's the spider. <laughs> Mike, Ma- <laughs> I was looking. The bona. <laughs> I had the big bona. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I could Yeah, that's that's really funny. I couldn't help myself. I had to get it yeah. I had to get it down. I can't work with a boner. I had to help him. He was so hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was so hard. He was crying. I've never seen someone so hard. He had such a painful erection. Bro, a painful erection. Do you know anyone that's taken Viagra and it just didn't go away? Uh I feel like I've heard heard someone tell me that story before but yeah one of my boys took it it, it just wasn't so did he go to the hospital no 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 and get it, it deflated nah he just literally just, just sat around pin he just sat around <laughs> yeah 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 they just put the oh pin in damn it, it. <laughs> <laughs> no 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 come back come back come back <laughs> if we do this it's irreversible you can never get this back yeah yeah, yeah. If, we, if we pop <laughs> your boner <laughs> There's just fucking air in there, huh? Yeah, wow. That's, That's crazy. It's <laughs> just a fucking <laughs> deflated balloon after. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, no, what did they do? Oh, my, my boy just sat around. He didn't go to the hospital? No. Nah. Oh. I think he just like jerked it a couple times and then just sat around and yeah, I believe that's do. what happened, yeah. It would be it would be kind of scary if you jerk it and then it, nothing and then it's still there, and you're like, "That'd be oh, scary." Yeah, that'd be scary as fuck. Fuck. Yeah, this usually works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Just Damn. smacking your dick. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> you're slapping it on the table. Yeah, come, like on. come on. Come on. You can't even slap it if it's like painfully yeah, hard. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It's like flexing into you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Your dickhead is borderline like looking back. <laughs> Sitting there. Ow, ow, ow. That's what Vol- That's what Harry Potter was. Or that's what Voldemort was in Harry Potter. A big boner? It was just a metaphor for a guy who, like, you know, it was like something growing. It starts by like something growing on him. Yeah, right. Just that the beginning of his character was like a dick. Yeah. And took Viagra and then it slowly took over the host body. <laughs> and then the host body became what the Viagra created. Totally. Yeah. 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 That was really funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. Speaking of things growing. Killed. Yeah. The other day I get out of my shower and I look down, there's two mushrooms growing <laughs> from out from under my shower. Yeah. What does that mean? Hmm. Don't know. Probably something really bad. Yeah. Right. What else could that mean? But something really bad. I was just a present from the uh, previous owners. <laughs> Oh, we How? thought you were chill like that. Yeah, yeah. So we just started a little grow off beneath the shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually thought about that for a second. I was like, uh, should I look up? The, are these psilocybin? Or yeah, it's yeah. good. I got to look up the type. Damn. But well, I mean, that has to mean something. Hor- like that was the party. The in crack you. where the shower meets the floor. Two mushrooms just bleep, right there. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Your house got nature bricked. <laughs> That's crazy. What if you just yanked? Did you did you kill him? I took him out, but I'm going to have like a mold guy come and I'm going to have to dig the whole shower out basically because I know that the water is draining. Destruction, yeah, my boy. Let's you love go. It. Yeah, you love yeah, to see it. Yeah. Stop yeah. making up excuses, It's about man. time I joined the club. Dude, you just dropped those two mushrooms right there. You're like, it's time we fucking tear a bathroom <laughs> yeah. down. I had an itch yeah. to redo the bathroom. Everyone I'm now talking to at these so house true. parties, they're like, yeah, we redid mine and you wanted to join. So no, you're like, no, it's... Now that I'm having a kid, yeah, like the urge to like remodel. You want to pick that up? You know what? <laughs> I drop my kid, my kid's name. Well, you don't. Yeah, you don't want to. Not drop his name, kid. but like, yeah, yeah. No, no, not no. the kid. I'm just saying, like, the fact that I'm having the kid. Yeah, no, it's just the way you said it. it was really funny. Hey, what? Well, you know, so, now that I'm having a kid, <laughs> we haven't mentioned it one time on the show. We really haven't. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the first time. So I guess I did just drop it. Yeah. But it is true. Cody you know, dropped start- his kid. You heard it here first. <laughs> Cody dropped his kid. <laughs> Just <laughs> stop. Don't. Don't. <laughs> I shouldn't even be laughing at that. <laughs> Jesus it's for Christ. Effect. Come on. That got you. She, that that got you. It made me giggle a little bit. But. <laughs> it's messed up. Yeah. Dude, I was thinking I wanted to. <laughs> Wait, sorry. All right. Let's talk about your kid. And no, the- no, no. I'm just. I'm saying now I'm getting the urge to remodel because I feel like it's yeah. a it's a dad thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, walk in somewhere, you like feel the counters. You're like, this material's yeah, kind of dated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I could uh, redo this probably. Yeah. All by myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just drop the two mushrooms in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Honey, there's two mushrooms in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. We should call some <laughs> yeah. already in there <laughs> with a fucking just sander. drilling it out. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking care of it. Yeah, construction, man. Yeah. No, I'm going to have to do it. Is it your main bathroom? Yep. Oh, RIP, dude. I know. And uh, you're going to use one of your other 15 bathrooms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. One it, of your 40 bathrooms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is really inconvenient having to go to the third master suite I know, to use that like, bathroom. It's like, God, why did I buy a house so long? And that one's tough because it's the bathroom is so big because of the steam room and the sauna yeah, that right next to each in. other. And the, even and just to get to the toilet, yeah. it takes a while. Well, then there's the whole, like, you have to pass through the micro gym that's set, it, that's set in the middle of the, <laughs> the bathroom. bathroom gym? Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. bathroom gym, <laughs> yeah. 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 It helps me. It It's a catalyst for bowel movements mm-hmm. when I do um, chin-ups and push-ups right. and squats, so right. I put a little micro gym in there. Yeah. Um, it's just nice to have that in the third master suite. It is nice. And it's downstairs in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a, a multi-story story bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if anyone's, if you've ever heard of that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean. It's the downstairs bathroom in the in the double-story bathroom. It took like three years to build the racetrack inside my house. 
Did it? It's fully indoor, full size. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Formula One grade. That's awesome. I could host a Formula One race in my house, <laughs> but I don't want know. to. A little noisy. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Are you going to the Austin one? I am. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. I mean, is it fun to go and be there? I don't know if I'm going to go. Maybe we'll see. I mean, that's depending on uh, you know. I think pregnancy is going to steer some things. <clears throat> well. I mean, yeah. Like that steer? Yeah. I don't get it. Try, talking about race. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, it's it's fun. But I guess I would say it just depends how much you like cars. Yeah, right. Okay. Right. Because I, like, I know you. You've been my boyfriend now. For <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just picking up on my joke when we shot this other stuff what that i've i've actually been like i think on paper i've actually been in a in a relationship with you (laughs) oh yeah right okay i said to cody that i've done everything but fucked him (laughs) you've butt fucked me (laughs) the world may never know i've done everything but fucked fucked you yeah but fucked you (laughs) i've done everything but But fucked fucked you I've done everything with this guy, but fuck you. <laughs> Indeed, I have. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Wait, when when were you joking about that? When we were shooting the escape room. Yeah. Stuff. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. Teaser. Uh, we'd like to. Uh, one second. Sorry, Noel's busy. He's playing NBA 2K Mobile, the sponsor of today's episode. Wow. And we want to take a quick break to thank NBA 2K Mobile for sponsoring this Yes, episode. we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Let's talk basketball. Oh, yeah, okay. You remember all those unforgettable NBA moments. Jordan's game winner against the Jazz. LeBron's chase down block against the Warriors. Well, get ready to create your own epic plays with NBA 2K Mobile. It's the must-play mobile game for basketball lovers who want to conquer the court online. Download NBA 2K Mobile free and start customizing your My Player and Dream Team today. It's no secret that our executive producer Ryan loves basketball. It's actually not a secret at all. He has Oklahoma City tattooed on his lower back, his calves. Um, he had an Oklahoma City Thunder themed wedding. This guy. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> what is there not to love? Truly. Shy, giddy, Chet, Shay, giddy, Chet. Jalen Williams. Yeah. They're definitely going to win the championship in a few years. Ryan loves NBA 2K Mobile because he can get a head start on the Thunder winning the championship right now. In NBA 2K Mobile, he can build his NBA all-star team and rise up to the NBA championship and league leaderboards on his way to becoming an online basketball legend. And it's so convenient to play NBA 2K Mobile on the go. Waiting for Noel or I to jump on a Zoom meeting because we're running late, Ryan can fire up the app and get a quick game in. He loves playing NBA 2K Mobile, and we think you will too. Yeah, it's the mobile game for real basketball fans. Immerse yourself in the ultimate basketball gaming experience on your mobile device. Collect player cards, build a custom powerhouse team, and rise to the top. Showcase your skills. Climb the leaderboard. I think Cody just said that, but I want to remind you to climb the leaderboard and and become a basketball legend. legend. Play with the virtual joystick or relax with auto mode. (laughs) Dive into tourney mode, events, and regular updates for nonstop action. Unlock and collect tons of player cards to enhance your team's performance. And best of all, it's free to play on mobile. Download NBA 2K Mobile free on the App Store or Google Play and use promo code TATUM2KMOBILE. If you use that code, you can redeem an exclusive Jason Tatum Pearl Tier card. Ooh, that's code T-A-T-U-M-2-K-M-O-B-I-L-E when you download NBA 2K Mobile free on the App Store or Google Play. Escape room stuff, what? What is? What could that be? What is an escape room? We did one. Yeah. <laughs> for a video. Yeah. So and keep we, your eyes peeled for that. We didn't do too well, so we blew it up. <laughs> <clears throat> the escape room, yeah, we just yeah, destroyed we a bomb all there, evidence. Like, yeah, no one gets to do it if yeah, we can't do yeah. it. Yeah, sour losers, you know. It actually, would be would have been really good if we lost and we just started tearing it apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pure rage, <laughs> rage quitting an escape room. Yeah, uh, it, it has to have happened. It has to have happened for sure. Because 
the first one that we did, we got really close to not making it. Yeah. And in the last five minutes, they play like this music that's like intense, to, <laughs> supposed to like make you feel like, oh fuck. Yeah. And, but it's it was really distracting. It was. And I can imagine it was also like stressful. Yeah. I can imagine people are like, you know, four and a half minutes into that music, they're like, let's just fucking just yeah. kick through the door. Yeah. Or <clears throat> they lose. It's like, oh, you just made, just, if you had one more minute. You just missed it. You just rage. Like, you need to play the fucking music, bro. Yeah, yeah. Clear comms. <laughs> Clear comms. <laughs> You don't fucking go in a game and just start playing music. <laughs> yeah. um, so it, it was actually really fun, though. I had a blast. Yeah. I wasn't really expecting to. Yeah. Because I, I also was like, you know, sometimes <clears throat> when you're shooting, it's not like you go in expecting fun because you it's like a shoot. Yeah. Like you have to like be on. And yeah. Like the cooking ones are always like a little bit stressful. Mm. They are fun. But the escape room was like we legitimately just went and tried to solve it. Yeah. So yeah. it was just fun. Yeah. I had a blast. Yeah. Cody Cody wasn't ready for how dialed the fuck in I was. Yeah, because I also thought that it was going to be like a classic shoot where we're going to like try and make jokes along the way and stuff like that. <laughs> like, It's like action and we like start rolling and I was like, all right, all right. <laughs> so we have these symbols over here and they coincide with these and I'm like, and I'm trying to be a shithead. Yeah. For the first 30 seconds, yeah. I was like, yeah, I don't really know how to get. And then I was like, okay, so what do these symbols mean? Yeah. And then it, I get into it. Yeah. Yeah. When do these come out? Uh, next month. Probably about a month from now. Oh, a month from Man. now. Okay. We can, yeah, we can temper it. But mm. yeah, anyway, so I was saying, I've been in a relationship with you now for, for five years. And I just know your social battery. I know how you get. So I'm just throwing it out there that knowing you you may get there you might see the cars go one time and you'll be like i saw it yeah and there's how 65 more laps yeah yeah <laughs> <clears throat> that is true and then and then and then 20 minutes in cody's like why wouldn't they let me bring my kindle reader in here <laughs> I don't, yeah dude why bullshit. the fuck people were making fun of me for reading a kindle on set <laughs> ever heard of a book have you heard of a book jesse my assistant was like what are you reading and i was like a kindle and she's like why would you be reading a kindle i'm like shouldn't wait this is backwards like i'm the old one should i not be why are you making fun of me for using digital versions of books dude, you're has lit. it reverted now you dude you got lit up by your own people <laughs> i know I'll... and then here's kindles the... are fucking awesome are they not awesome except when they power down they did mine ran out of battery. Yeah. <laughs> like, Cody's ran out of battery. Fifteen minutes in. And Ew. then and then Jesse goes, You know what always stays on? A book. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit. So I was like, cool. Then Yeah. Then you part of your new part of your job now is to walk around with thirty pounds of books in case I want one. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? We were joking about how she's gonna have to drag around a fucking uh just a rolly backpack, a suitcase <laughs> of books. And then Cody goes, no, no, on your back. Yeah. And then so she has to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like half of them are textbooks just in case I want to learn something. Yeah. Just a little math. Yeah. Algebra. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then I was like, hey. How do I find X again? Yeah. Mm, can't remember. Can you crack open that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you find that chapter, please? You know what I really feel like doing what's right now? The lo- what's the log of that again? Oh, man. You know what I really feel like doing right now? Uh, a <laughs> geometric proof. Oh, I love proofs. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Damn, I just got visceral flashbacks to high school. Seriously. Of pulling those, like, cum-feeling pages. Those pages were sticky. They weren't, like, paper. What class was this? <laughs> well, my teacher said I was... Set. <laughs> I had a special book. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, um, no. The like textbooks. It's not like paper. You know, it's not like a yeah, paper. yeah. I know what you're talking about. It's got that gloss to it. Mm-hmm. You know, I just got a nasty flashback of flipping those to okay, chapter seven, lesson two, exercise one. Yep. 
You ever get bad dreams that you're still in school? Yeah. yeah. Do you? What's the most <clears throat> recent one you had? No, I don't get them. I'm just wondering if you. Yeah. No. <laughs> I had, because I. Cause I know I, people do, so I was just. Because I graduated, you know, I've told this, like, I had the, I had like the four classes left and I took them. My credits, my entire degree was about to expire if I didn't just finish it. And I still have nightmares that I'm in those classes. Oh, yeah. And that I failed one. Yeah. And so I have to go back for one more semester. <clears throat> Fucks me up. Yeah. That's a nightmare. And, I, and then it's like, I've had enough of those where now I have days where I think my diploma isn't real <laughs> okay. or my whatever, my degree, whatever the fuck. So I gave it to you my- know, You know you need one. Like you get fired from here if you don't have one. That's a requirement. We no. require it. Yeah, we do. And my shit's real. <laughs> it's so funny. We pull up one day. It's like, where's them all? Oh, he, you didn't hear? He got fired. Yeah, he fr- um, he f- has a fraudulent uh, background <laughs> yeah. check. Oh, bummer. Weird. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot more talking <laughs> with one person. <laughs> Oh, uh, bro, this is my college, actually. This is... We should do... Wait, were there old people in your college? Yes. Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I had a communications class with a lady. Hmm. Uh, I'm not exaggerating. Probably in her mid-70s. I never finished college. The whole classroom. Really? Like, she used to, like, speak out in class? Yeah. Damn. And she's like, I, don't, I have a question about the internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, it's too late. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's never too late. Th- but think- it's too late. Thinking about it now of a person, oh my God, dude. A seven year old being like, I'm going to go back and get my degree. And then all their <laughs> everyone oh, in that yeah, class. Oh, yeah, dude. Just, yo, gay son, thought daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you're old enough. Which one do you have? so funny you have pictures of your kids let me see yo get the riz god over here (laughs) what What? (laughs) this is the riz lord right here his name is yeah his name's riz yeah yeah he's the rizzler he's the rizzler dude yeah 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 does your yeah does your daughter have an only fans or what's good it'd be dude it'd be like (laughs) i'm her fan I'm a big fan. Be going through hyperspace. <laughs> That's what that would feel like for this old person. Just <laughs> Yo, bro, you ever seen Perverse Family? <laughs> so funny. Uh, oh man. In my class it was just you know, in, in our era it was just like, you know. Have you heard of Pitbull? Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't a lot to expose, you know. We should do we should do Cody and Noel do semester. Oh. We just do an entire semester of classes <laughs> online. We don't have to go in and do them, but we have to pass. Yay! An entire <laughs> an entire semester oh, of fun. classes. <laughs> I'm of really excited classes. about this. Yeah, no, I'm really into this. We could bring the bad dreams to life. No. Okay, well, I think it'd be fun, dude. Did I? I like learning, so I, I'd go take a class on something. I just, yeah, it just has to be like a, a something interesting. That's all. Shop class? Oh. I would do a shop class for sure. Oh, welding. That'd be cool. Let's do welding. Yeah, I would do that. I would love welding. I've actually welded before. Oh. Yeah, when I was a kid. I made, what? Welded, yeah. <laughs> you like welding? Well, well, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've welded. <laughs> okay. Well, did you know I had sex with your mom? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, guys. We want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm-fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You can skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's it's America's America's number one one meal kit. kit. Fall is around the corner. 
and HelloFresh is here to help you plan for the busy season ahead with tasty dishes delivered to your door. Simply choose your recipes and pick your delivery date, then lay back and enjoy the last days of summer knowing dinner is covered. HelloFresh keeps your taste buds on their toes with 40 chef-crafted recipes to select from every week. From family-friendly to fit and wholesome, you'll always find new and exciting recipes to try and love. Does it seem like your family is hungry all the damn time? <laughs> Add snacks, sides, and more to your weekly HelloFresh order. Just simply shop HelloFresh Market and take your pick from a curated selection of over, of over 100 add-on items. This fall, you've got places to be and standing in the checkout line is not one of them. Leave the meal planning and grocery shopping to HelloFresh. With pre-portioned ingredients and easy step-by-step -step recipes delivered right to your door, you'll save so much time and cut out the hassle. Yeah, when life gets busy, don't call for delivery. Get HelloFresh. It's 25% cheaper than takeout and less expensive than grocery shopping, too. Just choose your recipes and receive fresh pre-proportioned ingredients so you can get cooking quickly. I love HelloFresh. It makes cooking easy and saves me so much time and energy wondering about what I want to eat, finding a recipe, and doing all the shopping. You know, Kelsey and I love cooking the bibimbap together, but uh, recently we tried the shrimp and spinach ricotta ravioli, and let me tell you, that was delicious. If you want to try either of those or one of the other wonderful meals that HelloFresh has to offer, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50TinyMeat and use code 50TinyMeat for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50TinyMeat and use code 50TinyMeat for 50% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. So what'd you make as a kid? What'd you weld? I, a I, pipe bomb? <clears throat> a pipe bomb, yes. No, I welded a shoe rack. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was kind of cool. And um, it actually turned out pretty good. I used it for a long time. How many shoes could you put on it? I think I had like four pairs on there or something. Some I'm just fucking, laughing. Some Osiris shoes. Oh, yeah. right so next I took to up some rack, the whole top rack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fat as yeah, fuck. Yeah, you had to put them sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, I was really not expecting the proportions yeah. of these Osiris shoes. Yeah. So you had your Osiris and then Etnies. Yeah. What was the... Uh, what were the Chad Muskas? What the ones brand? with the Circas. weed pouch? The ones with right? the weed pouch? Yeah, I had those. Yeah. I fucking loved those. Yeah. Never put anything in there, though. Yeah. Wasn't cool enough back then <laughs> Dude, to, to put drugs in there. That era, I begged my dad for skate shoes. And he was like, we'll see. We went to a store. And I'm, I, po I pointed at some Etnies. I'm like, those. He looked at the price. Walked right out. Ah, uh, he was like, no, really we got in the car, <laughs> went yeah. right back home. That's sad. <laughs> he was like annoyed. I dragged him there. I was <laughs> like, oh, did you skate? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> so you're just a poser then? Yeah. I rode a bike. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I rode, I had a Schwinn with some sweet little pegs on them. Oh yeah. Oh, you're a BMXer. Barely. Okay. Can't even say that. I was to do, and I was like four ten riding that bike. That bike was kicking my ass every day. <laughs> I was just happy to get it balanced. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no skating, man. Hmm. BMXing, I think was was pretty cool. It was like wasn't like I felt like skateboarding was always the number one at like the yeah. at least at like the parks and shit you go mm -hmm. to, and the BMXers were always cool because they were doing cool shit yeah but they would like stick off themselves yeah and then the rollerbladers was all, always like they just get made fun of yeah but now rollerblading is still not cool <laughs> <laughs> no it's cool it's cool it's cool no it's not rollerblading is cool <laughs> no it's not dude do you do it yeah we've had this discussion before. yeah ryan yeah ryan blades i blocked it out of my memory because like we found out that on stretch and fade we found out that <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, yeah. Be careful. What? Ryan's just had some experiences growing up, and it's changed my opinion on bullying him. Like what? He's just encountered some mean people in life. Oh. Uh -huh. And it made it not fun. Like bully, like other bullies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, here you are, back in high school, you big-headed. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> big, dumb, dork. Look at your ugly <laughs> knees. No. Um, yeah, but Ryan <laughs> is in rollerblades, man. Yeah. Regularly. In the shower. 
on the way to work. Yeah, <clears throat> there he is, right there, yeah. Venice Beach. But we can't show that. Do you go to the Venice Boardwalk and blade? No, I usually just do it when I'm running with my dog or like rollerblading with my dog. Mm. Do you well, put blades on your dog? That'd be cool. <laughs> that would, it'd be a lot cooler than humans doing it. Yeah. Yeah. That fucked me up. What? A dog going down the street on rollerblades? <laughs> like, what? Just the chilling? Hell? Yeah, just what the hell? Hey, what the fuck? Wait, dude. Speaking of. Dude, you'd be confused. You'd be like, is that abuse? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just slipping the whole. <laughs> no, what if it was just cruising? How, see, how? <laughs> how do you get a chihuahua to even want to do this? It's kind of funny that dogs can do most shit. Yeah. Like surfing, wake surfing, skateboarding. There's always videos of dogs doing that shit. Yeah. What the fuck? This is crazy, man. <laughs> That's Ryan. <laughs> That's Ryan on the weekends. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <sighs> Speaking of the weekend, I heard the coolest conversation I've heard this weekend. What? In my entire life. What was it? I'm afraid to even repeat it because, you know, I don't want to get the wrong people against me. Okay. I'm sitting, eating dinner. It's me, Alina, <clears throat> and her parents. This guy next to us, uh, his kids are kind of running around the the like next to the eating area they're running up and down it's like kind of long walkway and uh <laughs> he goes hey come here come here so you know tom brady right and his kid's like yeah you're friends with tom brady <clears throat> he's like yeah so you know he bought this soccer team i don't know fucking look it up whatever soccer team he bought or he like bought into a soccer team. Okay. Uh, and he goes, and I, you know, I bought uh, Birmingham. And so Tom's team. He's telling his kid this? Yes. How old is his kid? Super young. So just not absorbing any of this. N yeah, no, it was like an eight-year-old. And um, <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. So whoever played against Birmingham. 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 Which is crazy because... Oh, maybe he owns Birmingham. Uh, Yeah, so either way, he goes, uh, you know, I bought... Blah, blah, and his team just beat mine. <laughs> but I was texting him saying, we got to do something with the kids of team owners on social media. What? Yeah, yeah. That's if that's not a fucking toolbox going down a staircase. That oh shit. My God. That thing hit, hit the like atmosphere just like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and I just kind of like twitched my neck a little bit just to get like a look at the guy, and I went, "Man, what a guy!" And so his kids are like, "What would we even do?" He's like, "I don't know. I don't know. You're." And I think one of them was saying like he doesn't like being on camera, and he wouldn't know what to say. He's like, well, you know, we could, ah. And the kids go running off again. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Why was he even telling his kids that? I don't know. I who think. Would, who would be interested in team owners' children doing things together? I don't know. But I think <laughs> it's this. like billionaires' kids together. If I had to guess, this guy got rich off of tech. Okay. And uh, I think he's used to talking this way with his tech friends that also got rich. Mm. And he doesn't know what to do when he's not schmoozing. Right. Or blowing smoke. Right. Or bigging himself up. He just doesn't know. Right. You know? Yeah. Because kids are running up and down. Like, why not just fucking talk to him? <laughs> the kids? The kids are just going nuts. He could just be like, hey. Yeah. I mean, yeah. actually, I'm not going to hate him, him on that, you know? I think parents check out right when the kids get ugly. <laughs> I think that's about when parents start going like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll never oh, be proud of you. Fuck. <laughs> 12 years of this. <laughs> yeah, so. I wonder who it was and if they're going to take action against this episode and us. 
I mean, he said it in public. <laughs> he said all those things out loud. That's damn near verbatim what I just recalled right there. Yeah. You you know Tom you know Tom Brady right? My friend, my close personal friend. Yeah. I couldn't, man. I couldn't believe. It. I just, I almost like spit on my drink. Like, you just do that here <laughs> in front of these just people. Wow. Like he was saying it to his son, but in front of a table of people for them to hear. No, bro. So like the it was an outdoor seating area, and it was connected to a sidewalk. Right. And it's like a kind of a small pocket, and so there's people just sitting around, and he just hmm. There's some people sitting off and uh, across this walkway to the side, and this guy's voice was loud. It was tech guy loud. Yeah, you know, yeah. Fucking yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's loud. It sounds like a cool project. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'd love to be a part, man. <laughs> of the of the billionaire sons talking about soccer. Instagramming together or whatever the fuck. Yeah. It seems like all the American guys with money are buying up teams, you know, over there. Ryan Reynolds, yeah. Brady, that guy next to me. Yeah. Whoever the fuck. I wonder who it was. Um, what if it was someone cool and famous? <laughs> if it was, I didn't know. Me. What if it was like someone famous? Yeah, Cody's like, you didn't get his name? <laughs> yeah, what you if he fucking was, network what with What if him? he was rich? Oh, dude. <laughs> Could you imagine he says that? I'm like, I run a podcast network. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, it's, I, sorry, I heard you say Tom Brady. I, I'm a big fan of his. Do you know him? That's really cool. Listen, I run a podcast network. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You may have Would heard. love to get you involved somehow. Yeah. Hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Seeky. Oh, yeah. I've been looking to find the best deal on Drake tickets recently. Which and I is, was the one to purchase them. Which is when I turned to SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. <laughs> there are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. With artists like Taylor Swift, Post Malone, The 1975, and Noah Khan, you don't want to miss out. I actually saw Noah Khan on Friday, thanks to SeatGeek. Well, I'm seeing Drake tonight. Thanks, thanks to, to what? SeatGeek. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. I got the app right here on my phone. And what's tonight? Drake with 21 Savage? Oh, my God. Wait, is baseball season in full swing? I'm seeing a lot of games on here. And football is, is around the corner. We're in week three of preseason. Mm-hmm. Regardless of what you're into, sports, music, SeatGeek's got something for you because SeatGeek takes all the tickets from across the web and puts them into one small, convenient little place to make sure you are getting a good deal and access to all the events you want to be at. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. Each ticket on SeatGeek, uh, it, its price is rated on a scale of 1 to 10 to make sure you get a good deal. It's very easy. You just look for the green dots in the app. Green means good, and a red dot means bad. And every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know we came through for you guys. Use our code TMG for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code TMG. Just make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Have you heard of Mr. Beast? you heard of Mr. Beast? I'm not him, but... I was actually just with him last week. Yeah. You were. Jimmy. Can, are you allowed to talk about that? Uh, Yeah. I mean, this comes out tomorrow, right? So I don't know how much I can say, but yeah. I'm, I filmed. You drove a fast car. Yes. And you went kind of fast. I went 70. That's fucking fast for me. <laughs> On a racetrack? That's fast. And that felt fast. I know, but like. It felt fast because oh, you were hugging the inside. Yes, I was not on the outside. Yeah. Because it felt safer to be on the inside for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, so when someone doing fucking a buck ten cuts into the corner, they can just slam right into you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you're saying it wasn't as safe. <laughs> no, okay. dude. Well, I, I don't know. I can't... I, I never signed an NDA or anything, but I probably shouldn't ruin yeah. the video. But um, I did. I drove a fast car. And you liked it. And I had... I did like it. And I took a picture of myself in the in the car, and which Cody, I can show you eventually. But it's kind of a funny picture. It's just me like yeah. smiling. And then I sent it to them too. And I said, I get it now. I get it now. Those were his words. It's like I get two it now. years or three years of talking about car shit. Yeah. With me just checked out every single time. But he gets it now. Finally, I get it now. 
because it was really like the most fun I've had in a long time. Like I felt like a eight year old boy. Yeah. Like getting a race car bed or something like that. Yeah. I was just having a blast. Elation. Yeah, truly. And um, <clears throat> I got to put you in a real go kart. And I was laughing. Yeah. I have a video. Did I send the video of myself? Yeah. Okay. You could hear me. Yeah. Just like giggling mm-hmm. as I accelerate them. <laughs> yep. And it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah. So I do get it. And oh no. And I also was saying I get it because I don't only get the appeal of driving, I get the intensity of it and like the sport aspect of it. Mm. Because even me, even 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 like going around the corners at like going from 70 to 30 around the corners, you could you can feel how much you have to like hold your abs tight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it does fucking yeah, it's serious. It's yeah. like you can't really fuck around. No, and uh, that's why it's impressive when a driver's consistent because there's like little nuance shit too. Like when a driver's consistent, they're making the tires last longer. They're taking less rubber out of the tire because they're not doing too much to it. And it's like to be that precise, that many laps in a row, and sick. Yeah. So yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Now I want to put you in a. A regular go kart, you can feel yeah, I would the. Love to. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's how the it what? feels. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would That's just the to. lack of suspension. Oh in yeah, the yeah, cart yeah, yeah. Bouncing yeah. and. Yeah, it's awesome. How's the rest of your weekend? How was the rest of my weekend? What the fuck did we do? Went out to eat. Oh, yeah. Went with Jay and Trey to the coveted The Prince. Oh, yeah. Was it good? It was so good that Jay and Trey went back the next day. No way, actually? Yeah. yeah. And then Trey texts me on Sunday, jokingly, like... To go again? Yeah. And I said, I'm just glad he loved it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I really want to go here because I am a fan of... <laughs> and it was filmed here. But you also heard they do so food. I'd be like, this is worse. Yeah. Fucking oh, the f- the food is insane, and it's open till two in the morning, bro. <laughs> That's sick. Everyone from New York is like, "What?" So, That's it's rare to have That's something cool in L.A. It's nothing, it's, nothing no. never happens, and it's rare that something's good at that hour. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, the Prince, the Prince, search. Prince Albert. <laughs> Search Prince Albert <laughs> Red. <laughs> Red. Search Prince oh. Albert Infected. No, don't. Oh, come on, dude. Knock it off. Yeah. Uh, what is that? A tobacco? Isn't a Prince Albert a dick piercing? Yeah. Smoking Prince Albert. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now search all episodes of TMG to see if you've oh, you ever can talked search about all episodes Prince of TMG. Albert before. Oh, cool new feature, gang! Um, I'm trying. To... <laughs> yeah, we ate. <laughs> should this... we actually say that though? Should we? <laughs> should we actually say that for real? Yeah. What's What's the uh... TMG Studios? Okay, TV. if you go to TMG Studios TV, this is actually very interesting. Someone built this feature. Yes. For just like on his own, and Who's the it's someone? basically a transcript search, so you can search. What's Jacob his name? Myers? Jacob Myers. Big shout out to Jacob Myers. So he built this service where you can, if you want to search for a certain episode, because a lot of times on Reddit and stuff, people will be like, "What was the episode where they said this?" And, and they my horribly friend and I were talking it. about. Yeah. <laughs> so now you can search the transcripts of every single episode, and it'll just show you which one it was. Main and bonus. So that's on. Wait, scroll up. Tom Brady. Go down. In the title right there. Go down. Title. Tom Brady. Cody Colos, Tom Brady. Oh. Just wanted to put that out there. That's in the title. Oh, right. Yeah, right, right. Tom yeah. Brady. Yeah. You know someone who knows him? Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. I know of someone who knows him. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so this works really well. And uh, if you ever want to search an episode or find out when we said what, you know, any particular slur or anything. <laughs> Welcome to the most racist podcast. <laughs> then yeah, you can use this. That's a cool feature. We officially integrated it. <clears throat> yeah. What was the guy's name? 
Uh, Jacob Myers. Jacob Myers. We just stole it from him and didn't tell him. <laughs> now we partnered with him. Wait, search um, uh, squat 680. Zero results. Good. Oh, you can't do numeric. So that's. Oh, okay. So does it um, put put search gym floor? Scroll in. There you go. There it yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Podcasting in the club. Yeah. Podcasting in the club. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyways, what were you saying? I was trying to, just trying to remember my weekend. Now you got me wondering what the fuck I did. All right, so I, yeah, we ate. We filmed the escape room. You went to the little party. Yes. Went to, you went to the old variety party. Yep. Young Hollywood. Young Hollywood. Young. Young Hollywood. Which, which is like, you know, I feel like I'm like I'm on the cusp. Yeah. It's like this is probably the last year I can be invited to that. Yeah. You know? I think you just got in. <laughs> yeah. And now it's like, is there a middle age Hollywood party? Middle aged Hollywood. Washed up Hollywood. Early thirties <laughs> Hollywood. Early thirties. That's so funny. Early it's like no one was like, nah, I'm not yeah, going to that. No, I'm, no, I'm good. I'm all the way chill on that. No, actually, it would be from so, twelve. That, one, to that one's two. just sad. No, it'd be, it'd be from twelve to two, and everyone would uh, bring their kids. Like, pe- like afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's a lunch outing. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's like the one guy who's still like, come on. <laughs> yeah. And, <I> like, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Saturday, Saturday, will my brain work? Come what on. What did I do on Come Saturday? on. Oh. You got it. Here, let me get the yes. djembe. There you go. <laughs> the memory djembe. The m- 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 djembe. <laughs> Took my dog for a haircut. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that's Big. fucking... See, that's classic. Uh-huh. That's classic 30s weekend shit yeah. right there. Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, how can I forget? I fucking, of course, took my dog for a haircut. It's a yeah. huge day. Yeah. And yeah. then Sunday, went to the farmer's market. Nice. Got the old bag some flowers. <laughs> it's all right. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> no, we, um, we went and got some flowers. We've just been busy. So Lena's like, I want to buy some flowers from this fucking place. I'm like, let's go. Yeah. So we went. Then we had yeah, the dinner with her parents. And I got a Mac Mini. Oh, f- nice. For what? Yeah. Need a little studio machine so Alex can do his job. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's I kind of want to do that. Yes, yeah, I, I set it up so as soon as I'm done filming... He just uploads and deal. It's all in that. Nice. That's great. It's there. Yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. I want to do something like that. You should. I'm rebuilding my whole studio. I'm going to do it like actually good. Little construction? You're going to remodel? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're talking construction. All right. all right. In five years, it'll be done. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to be actual construction, but it's like, like I'm just having like new panels made and shit like that, but I'm having someone like test the sound and do all. Yeah. Um, you going with our guys? No, oh. someone else. Ooh. I know. Ooh. I've used them for years, but yeah, um, I'm same getting more technical with it. Same more guy, custom. Same guy every time. It is. Yeah, yeah. I like that guy. Yeah, he's really nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's good to see you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And this isn't even like, you're not even like making fun of him. It's just like, this is exactly what he does. Oh no, he's got that little machine now, <clears throat> that little handheld yeah. thing. Yeah. It's like a rangefinder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could play this guy in a fucking movie. Okay. Um, yeah, give me two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay. Yeah, that's it right there. And then two weeks later, you get an email, and you're like, "How many thousands of dollars?" <laughs> and then it's, um, <clears throat> two Latino guys who are just there to bury your wallet. What? Like you've paid already, and they just show up smiling to install what you've paid yeah, for, yeah, and yeah. you're like, "Hey, yeah, yeah. they're like, hey, yeah, 
We heard. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Our, our condolences. <laughs> yeah. They're patting you on the shoulder. Sorry, pal. Yeah. <laughs> it's just fucking foam. Yeah. You paid that much for foam? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know you could do it yourself. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. More technical with it. So what do you, what do you got going on? No, I just, I'm going to like, I think I can get the panels for cheaper, but uh, I'm just going to get them like custom, like, I don't know. We're going to work with our designers that we found to like make it actually like look cool and match yeah. the rest of the house and yeah. shit like that. And so I just, it's going to just take a little bit longer, yeah. I think. Because right now what I did is I just took up the panels from my old place and just put like they came and measured the room yeah and and i was like can i just use the old panels and they're like sure and they put them up and i came back and they just look horrible because they're all like wrong side you can see them in the back of my video they're also sun damaged so they're just yellow yeah (laughs) so like this horrible like brown color yeah and it's just my videos just look horrible and the place just doesn't feel very good yeah i feel you so i'm gonna try and actually make it feel i want to like make it feel creative and cool in there yeah i feel that and I want to set up like a little like DJ station and have people come in and do mixes. Mm. Like do like a little radio show from there. Mm. Like that could be cool. Like, you know, like Diplo and Friends. Remember that? I don't know. Yeah, you probably never listened to Diplo and Friends. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like every, it's a big thing within like EDM and DJing and shit like that is like labels will just start doing like a radio show where people will come uh, in and do a mix. It's a good way of like promoting music and stuff like that. Nice. I don't know. That'll be fun. Stupid idea I I got, but yeah, yeah. Good to start (laughs) right when you have a newborn. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. That's a good point. (laughs) I didn't even think of that (laughs) actually. (laughs) Kelsey's nursing in the in the room. (laughs) Is your kid crying? (laughs) I have no idea. (laughs) Yeah, call me when you. Yeah, sorry, babe. Putting on a hard style show. I was gonna say, call me (laughs) when you have a hard style show. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, did I did I send you that? Lil, his name is Lil Texas. No. Oh my God! Can we just play some right now? We can cut out the music. I just want your genuine reaction to this. Open up Spotify. This is <laughs> this is instead of instead of TikToker of the week. This is artist of the week. I'm just laughing at sitting here. If we like, just we're so out of touch, rich, and we just this whole time we thought Luke is Siri. <laughs> Siri. Okay, open up Spotify. <laughs> it looks like okay. It's like wow. It responds in real yeah, time. It's so good. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, by the way, I'm not I'm not making fun of this guy cuz I I he plays like big ass festivals. I've seen he has a really solid fan base. Yeah. People really like this shit. I think we're I'm just old. Okay. Okay. So Play uh yeah the, is it the is the first one starships yeah play that and l- make it loud. <clears throat> Tell me if you like this. I got it. <laughs> Do you get it? I I think I understand. <laughs> what it what? Um. I love it because it's like, I like. I feel like when we were younger and rhythm started coming out, it was one thing where you're like, "Whoa!" Like older people would be like, "This is robot music," but you're like, "No, this is sick." Mm-hmm. But this doesn't even have drums. It's just, <laughs> yeah, it's I, just the like. It's crazy. My thought would be that this generation of people, like, they get it. So I think even like get it in terms of like. Okay, let's, like I get it. A song has drums and me- like get to the part that makes me feel the good shit. And so okay. I feel like with na- people now, shit can be so stripped down just to like the raw, like like when we would listen to a song, we're fucking old because we sit around, we wait for the chorus. Yeah, The yeah, chorus yeah. is like what gives you the good yeah, feel. Yeah, You're yeah. like, yeah. And I think this younger generation is just like fucking, fucking with the intro. <laughs> They're just, it's just like vape, you know, more media, more just pills, just, more. I need to fucking. Sorry. 
So just, you're saying if you put music, if you had, if you were trying to get music in there, yeah. it's just like what's the most intense? Yeah. So now, like I ca- or ear catching yeah. shit you can do. So if you put music in there and you try some shit from us, where it's like, <laughs> and then in the middle of that, it's like, it's, hey, I just met you. It's like this is crazy. They're like, no, get that. I'm. Or you know. I feel like they can see it coming. They're like the the chorus, like it it it's come just make right, it right, right. do but the then, chorus now. But then this, how does it? How is this different? So I feel like this is different because it's taking that bit from Starships that makes you feel good, yeah, and it's rammed up 500 BPM. It's like yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes, yes that's the it. part I know. Yeah, and then they don't want to hear a fuck. Some people they don't want to hear a, a verse. Right. I don't need to hear you talk about <laughs> yeah 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 you know <laughs> yeah 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 it's the only thing that like compels them to not look at TikTok yeah you know yeah or like pulls them away and they're like what is what is yeah. this it's different and I just think they're doing way more substance so like they just need harder shit to feel something yeah and I I will say listening to it in this environment with you guys on the speakers. I get it way more than yeah. when I was alone in my AirPods. No, no, I mean, like, that's what not, the fuck is this? No, that's not. I was like, I don't understand this at all. And it was a, like one of the first times that I've sat there and been like, I've totally aged out of something. Yeah. This that's- is a genre that I don't understand. And by the way, like I understand how hard it is to make something like that. Mm. That's totally different. Yeah. That people actually... Mm. And, and making sounds like that in general is hard enough. Yeah, I think like that's like good sound design. Yeah, but um, I just felt like I was like I don't understand this at all. Yeah, that's not alone music. Cause, yeah, because even, yeah, even now, listen. even now you're like mm, yeah, 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 yeah. And so you contrast that, and now let's mute it, but let's get our genuine reaction. Now play "It's Hot in Here" by Nelly. Have you heard the new one? No, and Ellie Chapa. Redid oh it. yeah! Didn't he like damn near rip the whole song? It's pretty close. That's what people were saying. It's pretty close. I just didn't listen to it. All right. See, this is a bad example though because it, the new one is working amongst Gen Z. Yeah, we'll listen to it in a second. But I'm just saying, comparatively. Okay. Yeah. Play like, this. This is a song that gave us the good feeling. Yeah. This is like hold music to someone who's 20. <laughs> like, this sounds like a bank commercial. <laughs> you're a millennial. You're now in your mid-30s, probably. Yeah. You should be thinking about a high-interest savings account. Yeah. You know what else is hot? Flashes. <laughs> you are getting old quickly. <laughs> Start saving now. All right, now play Annalise's version. Now go back to Little Texas for comparison and play uh let's pick another one here. What? Play the fourth one or the fifth one, maybe. And maybe just fast forward to the <laughs> It's just like he hits so much. Yeah. <clears throat> It makes me feel like I'm in an arcade. <sighs> Fucking crazy, man. That's now just when you go crazy. back to did you go that the original hot in here. <laughs> Let me tell you about Cialis. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Side effects of Cialis include <laughs> yeah. a sick ass boner. Yeah. I think this is just everything with music. The previous generation all seems to have always sounded slower than the current generation. And so this is the inevitable tempo increase. You know? Yeah, it's a it's a funny thing. But I mean definitely I think that genre you age out of anyway. Like I think there's like twenty five year olds that would struggle to hang. Yeah. In a pit. Well, with, the, with the hard little, style shit. Yeah, with yeah. Little Texas. Huh? Yeah. Or it's the inverse. You got to do this 45. It's like, I've been listening to this shit my whole fucking <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah. You know? And His brain's just zapped. Yeah. He's like, no shit, it makes me feel something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, actually. Can can we finish the episode with this? 
Yeah, I was, you just made me realize I'm laughing. I'm going to see Drake tonight. No way. I'm yeah. going on uh, next Monday. Yeah. Is he at the forum tonight? Yeah. Where are you going to go gonna see him? sick. Crypto. Ooh. I have the forums way better. Yeah, Alina. <laughs> Alina's like, <clears throat> I've never been to a concert. We were, we were sitting eating breakfast on Sunday. She's like, I've never been to a concert. What? No. A concert ever? No. Why? It just wasn't a thing in her family, and just she wasn't brought up in a way where like live music and shit was a. That's crazy. Yeah. So, uh, so she's like, Drake's in town, and I'm like, you want to go see him? She's like, yeah. How much are tickets? And I look him up. She's like, that's crazy. And then Face ID. She's like, no. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, okay. I think it'd be funny. I'm funny. Like, just like. I don't know. First concert. Yeah, yeah. Drake. Yeah. yeah. It's just funny. It's going to be good, though. Yeah. It's going to be really good. Well, you know. Uh, oh, <clears throat> yeah, okay. So let's, this... let's not delve into this. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I want to talk about it. <laughs> you do? I just want to know what the fucking drama is. Why did she delete the Drake interview? Um, what could have happened? Dude, that has to be like the juiciest piece of piece of fucking drama. Yeah. I don't like talking about drama, but this, I'm like... That blew her the fuck up. Mm. She went from, you know, podcast, not like irrelevance, but I'm saying like she had a new podcast. It was only like one episode out. Mm. From there to like podcast superstardom in the mm. course of a fucking week because mm. of that episode. And then yeah. she took it down. Why? Something must have happened. Well, yeah. They unfollowed each other or whatever. Yeah. I wonder what happened. No, no uh, speculations. <clears throat> maybe, maybe something when she was at this show. There was like a awkward something that happened. Like maybe, but I can't imagine. It has to be something like, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's or, it's kind of crazy, or it's a meme. Yeah, or maybe she just like did it just for this. Maybe. So that people are like, what's going on? And it like draws even more attention. Could be. Yeah. That would be a master move though. That would be a crazy, crazy PR. I think movie. that's a little too calculated. Yeah. I would wager something happened. Bit of a bit of a fallout. Yeah. Quick fallout. Unintended consequence. Yeah. Are you excited? Uh for the show? Mm-hmm. I'm not getting my hopes up. Why? I've seen a lot of rap live in my life, and rarely ever is it that good. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I'll say, like, I haven't been to a show recently, so I know there's, like, modern artists that put on, like, a show. Like, watching Duke Deuce live is probably insane. He does, like, wrestling shit. Okay. He brings up fans, and he puts them through tables. Okay, that's That's sick. cool. He like raps all the words and he dances. I'm sure that's sick. Um, but you know, I think the whole era of MCing that was probably when I would assume like rap concerts and rap live was the best because it was such an emphasis on can you rap. It was almost like um, the focus was like the voice, like yeah. you know. So when I've gone to festivals and I've seen what are now older artists perform. It's sick because they're actually like trying to rap most of what they're doing. And I'm not because there are some older artists that perform in his ass, but no, but it's not even about the the rapping. It's about it's gonna be an hour and a half of just hits. You're gonna know every single song. Yes. It's just about listen like hearing those songs. The catalog, yeah. Amongst other people that are fans, I feel like. I've heard mixed reviews about how he performs them. Hmm. I've heard he will uh rap off cadence hmm so instead of with the the how you're used to hearing him perform the song he'll do like weird not that mm. and then it's like you can't sing along yeah so you're like what oh that's weird yeah i also think it's weird that little texas is opening for him now. <laughs> <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> You don't think it's weird? No. <laughs> you think it's yeah, natural? Yeah. Yeah. Just liquefy all the millennial brains. 
get them hyped for Drake. <laughs> yeah. I would love to see Lil Texas come out there and just tear up. Everyone's like, All these what? Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. Play that, that song. That that's the. How about this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something that's always funny to me is when you hear like older people talk about music. Older people now they hear Yeet. It's just it's too fast. Yeah. You know that's they're used to. I just fuck some bitch. <laughs> and, oh, all right. That is borderline. Clap your hands, everybody. <laughs> you got what it takes. That's borderline borderline yeah, that's true you know yeah that's and a good then, point even if they hear cardi it's like what do you mean they're like it's too fast yeah, yeah i can't uh, the Why voice, voice is small? so squeaky i don't know what he's saying the voice is small how how is his voice so small yeah that's a really funny way of describing yeah his tone thanks dude well now i'm laughing because i can't wait because it you know i can't wait till gen z is on that side of it and I wonder what new shit is going to come out in like 10 years that has a Gen Z person like. Yeah. And what is going to come out in 10 years that makes Cardi seem like a whole lot of red. <laughs> yeah. You know, just slow. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. So I want to end with uh, Just Tatum, the dude that we reviewed. We We got a cameo from him. Remember the singer? My favorite oh, artist? Right. Oh, right. So we got a cameo from him. Oh, I haven't seen it yet, but I wanted to watch it together to, to end our episode. Okay, let's get it. Cody and Noel just had him here in the flesh. Phoenix, Arizona. Wishing y'all the best, but you guys are already killing it. I seen the episode 302 yesterday. I appreciate being the artist to mention, you guys listening, you guys actually having the most genuine reactions. It wasn't thought, you guys weren't being egotistical. It was just literally, you listened to it, you guys felt something. And I seen that, and that's what it's all about. Art, I'm an artist. It's deeper than the words, it's deeper than the looks and the dye and the hair. It's just kind of like, it's something. And you guys, thank you for joining the journey in the beginning. It's going to be a fun, long ride. You're seeing pieces of the puzzle of a million piece puzzle. This is the beginning, even though this is 10 years in, still the beginning because it's who I am as an artist. All right. <laughs> and as an artist, I had to cover okay. the Walkman by my boys TMG. So I really hope that y'all love my little rendition. Send me the link. If y'all put it in your podcast, I would love to watch it with... He's about to do Walkman? <laughs> Is that what he just said? Yeah, wait, what? Love and peace again. Just Tatum, Phoenix, Arizona. Peace out. Tatum, TMG, look, uh, yeah. Get it. <sighs> we eating good, yeah. I'm a fat man. Faded, you ain't drugs like Pac Man. TMG, uh, on your walk, man. You ain't messing with it. You, you, you can't take a walk, man. Walk, walk. <clears throat> Walk, take a walk, ayy, take a walk, ooh. You don't wanna push my buttons, take a walk, take a walk, take a walk, ayy, ayy, take a walk. Yeah, you don't wanna push my buttons, take a walk, please, man, take a walk. Just tad up TNG in the building 302, that's the episode, check him out, uh, look, look. Shorty jumping in the front row, ooh. Put a face in the whole like thing. Oh, no, I, no, no, we gotta watch the oh, whole thing. I need a break. <laughs> I need a break. Before I hear me, anything related to me. You need an actual break. Yeah. Lids low like the blunt smoke. Feeling RMP holding blue nose. Mm. TMG, yeah, check them out. TMG, yeah, check them out. Huh. Oh, he just, he didn't like the second half of your verse. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. He was like, ah. He was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna. No, no. Well, I love that he ended it there. <laughs> he went a little bit through your verse, and then was like, "Ah, that's uh, that's where the song ends." <clears throat> Holy fuck, that was better than I could have ever imagined. That was an experience. Just Tatum. Just Tatum. I'm getting I'm getting tat tatted after this. I'm going. I have a tattoo appointment. What are you getting? The Iron Man tattoo. Where are you going to put it? I don't know yet. 
But I'm going to be just kneecap tatted. Kneecap. Now it's going to hurt like a bitch. Uh, you're an Iron Man? <clears throat> I think I thought I was I think I'm going to get it on my dick. <laughs> Sir, we don't have enough width for the... <laughs> Ooh, right. <laughs> Bro, kneecap is hard, man. It would hurt like hell, but how fucking tough would that be? So you're Iron Man? Yeah, me too. That would actually be pretty sick. People are like, kneecap? Yeah, yeah. You're like, what, oh, would you get on the thigh? Pussy. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to make a game time decision on where it's going to go. <laughs> yeah. Right here. <laughs> Like the Majin Buu. Yeah. Which is yeah. Iron Man. Anyways, thank you, Just Tatum, for the cameo. Thanks yeah. for what an insane cover of yeah. Walkman. I didn't think Walkman could get any worse. Yeah. I didn't think it could be more cringe. <laughs> and he did it. So uh, shout out Just Tatum. He, he made me feel like, ooh. <laughs> we shouldn't have wrote that. <laughs> That's what he made me feel. <laughs> like, ooh, we should delete that. Yeah, we might take it down, actually. Yeah. No. We might take it down. That'd be tough as fuck. <laughs> we just take delete our whole <laughs> artist page. <laughs> yeah, it never happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the only version is that version. Yeah, just had him, yeah. It's his song now. Oh, shit. We should give him the song. We just swap it? Yeah. All those streams? <laughs> yeah, yeah, swap the file. You got it, man. Yeah. <laughs> you can have it. That's you. <laughs> that was am- that was amazing, though. That was fucking Yo, awesome. Yo, Luke, do you want to keep your job? <laughs> Don't ever show me the lyrics to that song ever again. <laughs> <clears throat> I am a fat man, though. Yeah. This week on the Bone Zone. Does Alina ever ask you to not eat your own cum after sex? Yeah. I can't stop. She just catches you in the bathroom. <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> that fucking plane's gonna go down, dude. <laughs> no, man. That fucking plane's gonna go, dude. But not even in like a. The plane's gonna go down. Are we doing cum? Yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I, I really think. <laughs> No, nah, man, you got to think about why you really want to do that shit. <laughs> it's like me. It's like I want to start a bank and shit. Like, I think I could. Start a bank? I think I could, like, do a bank. You know what I'm saying? Like, it sounds crazy. Like, people look at me like, this is meth. <laughs> That's what that is. Watch the full episode by signing up for a membership at TMGstudios.tv. <laughs>